the hunt for redfish. It's one of my favourite activities and I can't do it without use of electronics. And the reason being, we're looking for very discreet marks on the bottom. Small lumps, small ledges, and my personal favourite, wonky holes. I'll quickly walk through the way I like to set my sounder up, give you a few ideas on what might help you come out with a great day on the water. If you haven't heard the term wonky hole, what is it? In short, it's a depression on the ocean floor where fresh water seeps through, virtually an underground spring. And I'm not actually sure what the attraction to these springs are for the nanny guy, but they do love them, and if you can find them, you found yourself a little gold mine. To find wonkies, I like to split my screen three ways. I'll quickly talk you through the features and how I set it up. My top right-hand window is my C-Map chart, and charts are regularly overlooked for an information tool, but they really narrow down your search when you're looking for redfish, and when I'm looking for wonkies, I look for a ledge where it plateaus out, virtually looking for the the deepest water in the shallowest section of a contour, that's a great place to start working. And having found a wonky hole, you can also go and search elsewhere, but in the same depth. My second window on the left-hand side of the screen is also my largest window, because it's gonna show me the most information, that is the side scan. We utilize side scan looking for ground, not to find fish. It doesn't give us the definition in deep water. We run it on 455 kilohertz, which is your transducer frequency. That can be altered due to the water depth you're fishing. When we're fishing this 30, 40, 50 metres, 455 selected, and it will highlight lumps, or in this particular case, wonky holes, which are depressions in the seabed. What a wonky looks like on side scan is a dark lump, usually with a slight raise around it, but it'll shadow very dark in the middle. So we've found ourselves a nice little wonky hole just here. Now we just mark it by tapping the screen, place our cursor right in the centre of the wonky, so we know we're pinpoint accuracy, mark, and then we change our screen. Come back over the top of these wonkies just here that we've marked. We're already starting to see some fish and bait sitting on top. We've now marked the wonky hole, and this is where things get a little bit exciting. We have a mark on our charts we've got to go back over. We also utilise the third window on the screen, and that's the 2D sonar, your traditional sonar. And traditional sonar really is the definition in finding fish. It will tell you where the fish are and it will tell you where you need to locate your boat. With wonky holes, sometimes boat positioning is very crucial. You will not need to be directly on top of the hole. Sometimes you'll find down current will be best as the water that is bubbling out of these underground springs is taking away with the current. It mixes with the salt, it builds the right salinity and that's where the redfish are. That's why you need to use all the tools on your sounder to get you in the right place, get your boat located, and give you the best opportunity to catch yourself a big nanny guy. So these are the three wonkies we've just marked. These are all within 20 metres of each other. We're just about to drive over the top of one now and you can already start to see the life in the bait sitting right on top of the hole. We're utilising the split screen function, which has given us the full water column on the right, and the left is a zoomed in, very detailed image of what's happening tight to the bottom. As you can see how important it is to have a split screen, this depression here is about a metre deep that we've just gone over over the top of the hole, but on your standard sonar, it doesn't show very much detail at all. You can see the life sitting right inside the hole. And as we come out of the other side of the hole, we can really start to see the life that's sitting tight on the bottom. I think this is a really good spot to probably drop a bait. Utilising the functions on your sounder can really highlight detail and with wonky holes we can see the start of the depression here with the bait sitting sort of to the front. If we come right down here and start zooming in we can actually see where the hole forms under the seabed. These are the types of details you need to find when you're looking for nanny guy. Happy place. There's also my happy place. 